Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at HubFit's Autoflow feature. Autoflow allows you to schedule events ahead of time, such as sending a message or adding a resource to your client. You can automate these and you can have them scheduled weeks or months ahead of time. So let's jump right into it. First, I'm going to show you how you can add an Autoflow event to a client profile. So over here, I have a client. I'm going to go ahead and click on this client. And if you look here, you can see we have this Autoflow. So just a quick overview of what you see before we jump into it. Over here, you can filter between the month. Over here you can toggle the views if you want it day week or month and this is where you can add an event if I click add event you'll see that you have several different type of events. So I'm going to quickly run you through them. The first is adding a workout program. So you can add a workout program from your library into the client's workout section. For example, if you have your workout split into phases, maybe month one, month two, month three, you can automate when they are added. So if I go ahead and click add program, you can give the event a title and then you can schedule the date and time. So if you pick, let's say you want this to be added next week, you can do so and then you can pick the time as well. You'll also see an option if you want to send a notification. To select the program you want to add as part of this event, you can click on this. You'll see a drop down of all the templates in your workout library. So I'll go back and if I do add resources, this is for your vault. So you can add any resources from your vault, such as images, videos, and it works the same way. You have title, notification, when you want to add them, and then you can select a resource from your vault. Automated message allows you to send an in-app message. Same goes with email. Now with email, if I go ahead and click on email, you can see you can actually format the email and schedule that. You then have in-app notification. So this sends an actual notification from the app and as you're typing your title and the text you can preview it in real time to see what it would look like and finally you have automated note so there's a note section on the client profile if you want to automate a note you can do so from here there is also this option here auto flow library this allows you to use your own library but we will get to that in a moment so let's go ahead and add an event so i can do add workout program and let's say we want to add week one workout program and then I'm going to select the workout program that I want to add and I'll do add event and if I just go to the 1st of April you can see here we have the event so let's go ahead and add another event and instead of clicking the add event you can actually use this shortcut here by just clicking on the dates that you want to add and then it will automatically fill in that date so I'll give you an example let's say we want to add something on the 3rd of April I'll click on this let's say we want to send in-app notification so let's add a check-in reminder and I'll go ahead and click add event. You can also filter by the view. So we have month that's currently open. We can flick to week so I can see it week by week. And I can also flick to day and I can see it day by day. So that's how you can add events to a client's autoflow calendar. Now, this might be a little tedious if you have certain resources that you like to drip feed or you have a certain pattern of autoflow events. So this is where templates come in handy. You can create a template, you can pre-build this autoflow, and then you can just import the library that you've pre-built. So let me show you how you can actually go ahead and do that. You'll see this auto flow option over here. This is where you'll have all your auto flow templates. So here, for example, you'll see I have these two templates. So I have a 90 day program and here it's three weeks and there's nine events. And in this case, I have resource drip feed. So let me go ahead and go into one of those templates. I'll click on this 90 day program. Adding an event to a template is the same as adding it to the client's auto flow, which we just done. So if I do add event, you'll see the same view here where you can add Add the event that you want to add so at the moment we have three weeks I can do add week so now we have a fourth week I can flick to the week or month view to make it easier to design if you hover over a week you'll see to the left here there's these buttons that allow you to perform some actions so this action here allows you to add a week after this week so let's say for example we wanted to add a week after week two I can come here click this button and I'll do add week and now we've just added a week and we've shifted everything down. You can also delete a week. So if I do delete, I can go ahead and delete this week. And if you want to erase a week, you can do so as well. So if I do erase, that will remove all the events from that week. So let's look at another example of an auto flow. So I have another auto flow here that's for resources specifically. So if I click on this, I am drip feeding resources. So here, for example, we have a resource on the first week, and this is a getting started resource. I also send a message to the client, letting them know I've added a resource and what they can expect. And then we do this for every week. So that's everything there is to building auto flow templates. Let me go ahead and show you how you can actually use an auto flow template. So if I go back to that client that we saw earlier and I'll just click on this client, I'll go to autoflow and I'll go ahead and click on add event. 
you'll see the auto flow library option. This is where you can select your templates that you have. Now, what's really cool is you can select multiple templates. So as you saw, we have a 90 day program and we have a resource template that adds a resource to the client every week and messages them as well. You also have this option here that allows you to specify which date is the start day. So whichever day you pick is the day that the templates start the events from. So let's, for example, say we want to start on the 1st of April. I'll go ahead and click start flow. And if we just go to April, you'll see that it's added all the events from the template. And again, what's really nice is we were able to combine multiple templates. So that's everything there is with auto flows. You can also add auto flows into onboarding flows, which essentially means you can automate it at the onboarding level when you're onboarding a client. There's a separate video on auto flow that I would suggest if you're interested in that. But as far as auto flow goes, that's really everything there is. And as you can see, it's very simple and powerful. You can go to Hopfit to try this out. And if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments below.